Uh, this is about uh, pronouncing clearly, more clearly, which we have been discussing for a long time. Now, clarity of pronunciation or clarity of voice has nothing to do with the language. We speak English, we speak French, we speak Sanskrit, we speak Hindi, we speak Tamil, we speak Kannada, we speak any language. The clarity is basically the way you speak. For example, if a person has a habit of speaking the next word before he completes the first word, he will always be having less clarity, number one. Number two, the, as they say, you know, the traffic police says, the speed, the speed thrills, but it kills. Let's keep in mind, speed in communication will somewhere, unless and until you have got great level of clarity, it will certainly compromise the clarity of your speech, the clarity of pronunciation. So, if you really want to develop clarity of communication, clarity of pronunciation, you have to follow certain thumb rules. Thumb rule number one, don't speak fast, unless and until you have become very good with that language. Number two, do not start a new word before you complete a previous word. Example, I was going to the market. Before I completed going, completely I jumped to market and that's why the clarity in the sentence was less. I was going to the market is the best way to speak. I was going to the market. Every word comes out clear. I was going to the market. When I decided to change my career, I planned for a new business. This one. Second, when I plan to change my career, I started a new business. When I plan to change my career, I have a new business. Speed and the inability to complete the words. So this is number two. Rule number one, don't speak fast unless you are great with the language. Number two, before you complete one word, don't attempt to start a new word. Number three, speak all the long words slow. Stress on clarity than speed. For example, if I am talking about manufacturing, it is a long word, go a bit slow. Usually if you try to cover it up with the same speed, you will cut the word short. short. I was in manufacturing industry earlier. I was in manufacturing industry earlier. What happens here is before I complete manufacturing nicely, I start with industry. Manufacturing is a long word and as it has got many syllables, okay, so it will take some time. As I was working with manufacturing industry, so you can break, you can split into two or three, but remember, go slow there. I was working in manufacturing industry before I jumped into information technology. This is the best way to pronounce clear, go slow. Split the words, especially the long ones. For an example, if you speak I, I you speak anyway, it's going to be clear. We is going to be clear. They is going to be clear. There. Now, slow down. And if you're talking about therapeutic sense, information technology, cultural advancement, rigorous training, you have to be slow because these are long words. Remember this. Keep in mind because that will certainly make your pronunciation, your voice, your language more clear than what it is today. Next thing what you can do is learning, developing a habit of reading certain things, written text, okay, reading them verbally wherever you have got some free time and you want to enjoy this sports. Yes, I call it sports because I enjoy it. Take some paper, take some magazine, take some interesting articles which you want to read and at the same time you want to practice better pronunciation, better clarity. Take the same article which interests you or the book which you have not read for a long time or there's a magazine which you have not seen for a long time. Take that, pick up an article and start reading that. Of course, you read it and understand it and second is your clarity of pronunciation will also be practiced. So these are a few things which I thought I must discuss with you so that you can develop that in you. Okay, please watch my next video to just 
see how exactly I practice. This may inspire. Thank you.